Hello friends, welcome to our channel BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to our channel for the first time, then just hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. This video is about fundamentals of agronomy and agriculture heritage. In this video, we are going to see about Unit 2 and Lecture 2 of Unit 2. So the topic is agricultural heritage and agricultural answer in India. So while seeing the agricultural heritage, so which refers to the value and traditional practices adopted in ancient India which are most prevalent to the present day techniques adopted in our fields. So while seeing what is the history of agriculture, we can be able to broadly divide this period into four but these are the unequal ones. They are prehistoric, historic through the Roman periods and visual period and scientific period. So while seeing this image is a trade trade which is done in our ancient through the Nile and Indus rivers as well as the Mediterranean Sea platform in the ancient days. So I have given most clearly in my lecture notes you can see that in the description. So while seeing the history of agriculture in India which is started around the early history of 15,000 BC. And afterwards, it comes to a very period where the post Maha Janapas period from the period of 1500 to 2000 CE, as well as the early common era to high middle ages, which comes under 200 CE to 1200 CE. So, late middle ages, early modern to early modern era, which comes under 1200 to 1757 CE, as well as the colonial British period, which comes up to our independence and the Republic of India means which the period comes after our independence. These are the history of agriculture and how the agriculture is developed. So while seeing the agriculture heritage, it mostly comes from the Neolithic period, from the period of 7500 to 6500. But agriculture is not an origin of India. So. While seeing it changed the lifestyle of early man from nomadic, where the hunter is cult uh, is changed to the cultivator of land. So, and in the agriculture used to give wisdom and teaching for green saints, which means uh, saints means the professors or the person who is talented in that subject known as saints. So created more and more graced saints in the period. So those saints used to gain adaptation, used to gain knowledge about agriculture or a period of practice and pass it through the generations. So in ancient literatures which explains about agriculture are the four Vedas, Brahmanas, uh, Aryana Sutra literature, Chakra Sharmaspati and the epic Ramayana and Mahabharata also the important literatures of agriculture, the 18 Puranas, Buddhist and Jain literatures. So as well as the text of Krishna, Parasha and Paranis, Astadanya, Brinda Samshita, Amar Kosha, Surpala, Viraksha Veda. These are some of the ancient literatures. The ancient literatures are mostly composed between 6000 BC to 1000 AD. So these are some of the important literatures we must need to know before we going to the exams. So the Rig Veda is the most ancient one literary work made in India. Believes that gods were the forces of the agriculture in our land. So and Amar Kosha, the Thesaurus of Sanskrit, made by Amarashima, so the Aryan's agriculture technique, so and Mano and Kautalya prescribed agriculture were the essential subjects which the king must, even the king must need to learn about the agriculture. So Patanjali, compiler of the Yoga Sutra, uh, which the economic country dependent on which denotes the economic country dependent on agriculture as well as cattle breeding. So the Puranas uh, are the ancient Indians and imitate knowledge on agricultural operations. So 
I must need to tell you on something. I have just given the important points in this video because the most of the videos comes as the Purana lectures. So I have given detail in my lecture notes. So don't forget to download it. The lecture notes in the description. So like if you like the video, then like it, share it with your friends, as well as subscribe my channel BSc Agriculture and hit the bell icon to get the regular updates so thank you and i will catch you up in the later videos thank you